Home hearties. A very good evening to you. Home hearties. It's Saturday night. No, it's not. It's Friday night. Now, I made that mistake last night. For some reason, I've got it in my mind. It's the weekend. And last night, I welcomed you to Friday night. This is Friday night. Last night was Thursday night. But there it goes. So a very, very warm welcome to our Friday night pop-up just for you, Dinky Doo. Excellent. Lovely to have you all with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's Live. Lily says it's Friday night for me. No, it's definitely Friday night. But last night I announced Thursday night as Friday night. You see, these things happen. But it's Friday night live and Scotty McClue tomorrow being Saturday. Have we all got that? <laughs> welcome, 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 I say. You're watching Scotty McClue, the one and only, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, the world's most humble man, and, of course, the father of feminism. Hello, Scotty. How are you? Steer. Lovely to have you with us, as always, you clever man. Scotty, how are you? Oh, we're just amazing, to be quite honest with you. I am absolutely bowled over by the success of our TikTok live. Yo-ho! How are we, Lily? Thank you, do Welcome. Welcome, I say. Now then, come and join us, everybody. Follow us as soon as you come on. Very important to follow us. I'm going to try and speak a little bit quieter tonight. Now, if it's too quiet, you'd better tell me. All right, there we are. Evening, Scotty from Inverness. McPhee. How's things in Inverness? Up in Schnecke there. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And that's where they speak the best English. Uh, there's no doubt about that. So there are welcome, 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 I say. Hi, Scotty. Thank you. Hello, Scotty, says Bunsen. Bunsen, always lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Now then, smile. So there we are, Dekus. We never, ever, ever come out with any of that trolley stuff. So Dekus is the first down the swanee tonight. Woo! Bye-bye, Dekus. How wonderful is that? Scotty, what we'll get you started in radio and talk shows? I felt there wasn't enough happening on the radio. It was becoming, as it has now, complacent and a bit jukebox-like, but... The beauty was there were local radio stations and they had a tradition of doing talk shows at night because it saved on needle time. So it was actually cheaper to have somebody just talking. And of course, it's how cheap can you go in commercial radio? Anyway, Scotty McClue fitted the bill because they'd had a wonderful, wonderful broadcaster and they were just very anxious about who should take over. So they took a chance on me, and it paid off. That hat really suits you, I thank you. This is knowledge, seeing this is always knowledge, I can tell you. And, of course, now, the only problem we did have was uh, one or two people <coughs> who weren't very good at it. And it gets everybody else a bad reputation. People then say, oh, no, we've tried a talk show it didn't quite work out for us, so we'll not be bothering. That's the danger, you see. What you need to say is, well, why didn't you get Scotty McClure? And he'd do it properly for you. Santa Claus is coming to town. Can you say hi to Natalie? Yes, of course I can. Hey, Sardinkiru Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome this Friday night. Do you watch Vera? No, I actually don't. She's not really my cup of tea. A bit like coffee mornings are not my cup of tea. That's not to say she's not brilliant. It's just not my thing. Woo! I am so hot again in the studio tonight. Somebody had turned the heating up. Watch your pronouns. <coughs> we never, ever, ever ask anybody's pronouns. It's a bit rude, and it's also old hat, passe. On here, we are modern, all-encompassing, bang up to date. Do you have a job? I have lots of jobs. I wasn't going to get a brain transplant, and then I changed your mind. Don't let bureaucracy take over your life. No, well, I don't, you see. Dinky-doo, so you can call me the dragon. 
<laughs> He's my uncle. He loves you. Hello, sir, from Florida in the USA. Have a blessed weekend. I give thanks to you from Florida. Hello, thank you, Duke. Can you say hello to Cal the Dragon? Uh, if you could have dinner with three celebrities, alive or dead, who would they be? Robert Burns, James Watt, and Jesus Christ. There we are. Uh, your hat is so cool. I thank you, Vera. Excellent stuff. Thank you, Duke. We need you back on the radio. Thank you very much, Singwall. Yes, I think there should be a national Scotty McClue phone in right now. Could you imagine the quality of the chat? Amazing. Fantastic. Sean Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Hey, pal. Hello, pal. Always good to have you with us and welcome. Right. Can everyone follow me, please? We need a massive follow fest tonight. And uh, get everybody on there. Fantastic. Can you say hi to Stuart and AJ? Of course I can. Not a problem at all. Scotty, can I get a shout out to Jimbo and Big Ian? Yes, of course you can. What did you do before radio? I did television before radio. Uh, looking back, it would probably have been easier on me to have done it the other way around. Started in radio and moved up to the telly. But I started in television and moved to radio. We need you back to cover Stuart Dickey too. Lovely to have you with us and welcome, I say. Now then, who have we got here? Joss has just joined us. Guys, can you all tap the screen? I want to try an experiment so we can get the numbers up a bit. Is Jeremiah a Christian name? Of course it is. Yes, the books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, and then you've got Samuel, Second Samuel, Kings, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job. Yes, Jeremiah is very much a Christian name. Hang on a sec. Whoo! Whoa, it's warm in here. I tell you. There we go. Fantastic. Never mind. Is Jesus our Father? No, God is our Father, which is why Jesus would say, no one comes to the Father but through me. There we are with my name. What do you think I am? I would say you are a Vera. There we are. That's what I would say. Fantastic. Uh, who do you think I am? Scotty, we need someone to fill in for Rush here in the USA. I'd be a listener. Yes, you're needing that. America needs to wake it up again to proper live radio. People with no sides. Clap for God. You don't need to clap for God. He claps for you. There we go. Now, the Bible says the word became flesh. Jesus also says, I and the Father are one. Well, that's because God made man in his own image, and Jesus was his son. <coughs> are you famous worldwide? I am indeed. Apparently, two billion people have heard of Scotty McClure. That's not bad, is it? I wish they'd all send me a quid. <laughs> now then, who have we got here? Not only worldwide. Aha! Who is Jesus to you? Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Master in whose footsteps we follow. All right, not too much to ask, is it really? Scotty, congrats on the 14K. Oh, Sean, you are such a top man. Very, very observant. It was amazing. It just happened this morning. I looked at the, oh my goodness, 14,000. Guys, can you all follow Scotty McClure, please? I'm watching you. And only a handful of you are conscientious enough to say, no, follow, follow the guy, follow the guy. Very, very important. I would say you're 50, Vera. Jesus said he was before Abraham, which implies he's God himself. So there you are. So you think that uh, Abraham was, so if Jesus was before Abraham, you're saying Abraham's Jesus' his son. That's an interesting one, isn't it? Fantastic. But remember, Jesus didn't arrive until the New Testament. Yes, have you got that? So, fantastic. Who? What do you think of Muslims? All the world's great religions are fantastic. Religion has never, ever, ever caused a problem in the world. 
What causes a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding. That's your problem there. Do you watch Mrs. Brown? Yes, I do, Vera. I must be honest about that. I watch Mrs. Brown. I think it's outstanding comedy. I certainly do. Zelly, don't be spamming us, please. So there we go. Now, who have we got here? Have you ever been to Wrexham? No, but I remember Marchor Sound Radio. Does that ring a bell with you? Hi, Scotty. How's your day going? Says Aaron from Liverpool, Manchester. Manchester. Fantastic. He's a mank. Loving the hat. Buy me one. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. Now then. Hi again. Hi, Finster. Who have we got here now? Justin. You need to just go and grow up. Okay. You're one of these little puerile trolls that just doesn't understand quality. That's not to say you won't when you come to your senses. All right, Justin's away down the river, guys. Nice eyes, I think it's huh? It certainly does. Uh-huh. Fantastic. Now then, uh, what have we got here? Guys, don't be silly. Dylan, go and grow up. Shall we send Dylan down the swanee? I think we should. Right, Dylan's leaving us, guys. He's gone. Fantastic. Okay. Wonderful. Your favorite thing to do. Now, this is using this like you're used to using other lines. We are not short of conversation on here. So you don't come on here trolling. You come on and you learn and you put your input in and you inform and you educate and you entertain. And that's what makes this TikTok's top live show. There we are. Fantastic. Now then, Dom, we are not interested in what's in your kitchen, so we'll send you down the swanee as well. Guys, if you're watching and you've just joined us, I'm just blocking a few trolls. Did you vote if you wanted an independent parliament? Well, everybody does, I think. Bye, Dylan. Hardly knew you, says Andrew. Andrew, it's heartbreaking. I didn't know him at all, and now we never will. Scotty, do you know who I am? There's somebody here who doesn't know who he is. Oh, my goodness. What's the favorite job you've done? Talking live on TikTok to you guys without a shadow of doubt. Fantastic. Scotty, there we are. Your favorite uni. Yes, indeed. Oh, it's got to be Glasgow. Without a doubt. I mean, you know, I went to effectively two universities, but Glasgow is the one for me. Dome, you've gone for spamming. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Hang on a second. Ooh. What change do you want to see in the world? I would like to stamp out ignorance and arrogance. That's the change I would like to have. That would be fantastic. What's your favorite place to go on holiday? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't really go on holiday, to be honest. I'm usually too busy. Fantastic stuff. Now, uh, lots and lots to talk about tonight, guys. It's uh, coming up, what, 20 minutes to nine. Anybody remember when we started? <laughs> That's how good I am. I can't remember when we started. Wonderful stuff. Uh, follow us as soon as you come on. Now, we've got a lot of TikTok videos for you. And I would like you to watch and like every single one of them because they're made with love for you guys. All right. You want 100K in cash. Um, I don't know. What's, uh, what's the catch? <laughs> what do we have to do for that? Uh, do you have an opinion on Wales? Yes, I absolutely adore it. And they are about the only nation that really sings in tune collectively because they've had all the experience at chapel, you see. Fantastic. Law, says Erica. So there we are. Dome, you really do need to go. I thought I'd got rid of you. Guys, Dome is leaving us. Off he goes. Bye-bye, Dome. Can I have to shout, bye, Dome. Here he goes. Woo! See you, Dome, laugh. Fantastic. Remember, you never, ever, ever troll Scotty McClure. 
It's just not acceptable. Everyone who's switched on, who uses the internet, knows that you never, ever, ever, ever troll Scotty McClure. Capiche? There we are. Fantastic. Then there's Let's Go just not listening. You're just not listening, Let's Go, are you? There we are. Bye. Okay. Guys, remember, Scotty McClure is international. So there we are. Fantastic. Scotty, get the talk show back in the wireless. Jimmy Jazab. Yes, indeed. That's what we want to do. That's what it's all about. Fantastic. So there we are. Uh, hello, sir. Your personal opinion on Joe Biden and how he's handling the crisis in America. I think he's doing an outstanding job because I'm not right in thinking that Donald was a kind of a negator and all that sort of idea. Very strange. They were back under the bridge, Dom. Absolutely, Andrew. Andrew, you miss nothing. I take my cap off to you. I won't at the moment, but I do. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? No construction, I do not. Hello, I'm back. A very warm welcome to you. Don't troll Scotty McClure should be the 11th commandment. Thou shalt not troll. The only thing is you can't actually change the word of God. Absolutely. Stuart, we've got you now. Don't be spamming. Did you hear what happened in Kenya? We love the people of Kenya and they're on here a lot. How has your day been done, the man? My day has been absolutely outstanding. Incredible. Just done so many lovely things, spoken to so many interesting people, and, uh, you know, done a lot of catching up, I say. <clears throat> I had to get myself a larger store card, yes, to store all you guys. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. That's what it's all about. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Pokemon. Pokemon. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, the world's most humble man, the father of feminism, and it's all going on here. Have you ever been to Kenya? No, but the best teacher I ever had had taught in Kenya for 20 years. And he was just different class. I had many, many great teachers, but he was right up there with the best. Have you ever been to Kenya? They don't speak English. Look, Clay, are you talking nonsense? The English were in Kenya for uh, about 100 years. So don't tell me they don't speak English. Pit Lochley says, Angela, beautiful place. Uh, Angel says, I wake up, brush my teeth and pray. And then I go to my job. Excellent stuff. That's what it's all about. Have you ever visited the Bulgarian colony of Somalia? Bulgarian colony of Somalia. What are you talking about? There we are. Uh, Dome's giving it, you know, block me. We block you, yeah, la. Do you support any football teams? Not financially, Aaron, no. Fantastic. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? I'd go live on TikTok. No doubt about that. Fantastic stuff. Now, let me just dump this wee troll. A wee trolley troll. There he goes. Woo! Doing the swanee with Dawn. Fantastic. Maria Knight, you princess. Maria has popped on. Now, Maria, go easy on the TikToks. Not too generous because you really do. You really do have so much kindness in you. So just a handful tonight. Um, 40. Stop at 40. That would be fair enough. Then I'm 40. That, no, no, Maria's gone on. Oh, my goodness. Sir. Have you ever been to Aberdeen? I lived in Aberdeen, sure, for uh, a year and a half. Loved every second of it. And the Granite City fit like. Uh, that's fitted sa boot, eh? Shout out to James, the banjo player. There we are. Fantastic. We're having a few drinks. Good, good. Excuse me. Woo. The heat here is incredible. Now, 
Can somebody be dispatched to go and like all the videos? What's your favourite thing about Scotland? They speak perfect English and they also look after England. Fantastic stuff. What's your favourite type of protein? I think roast beef. <laughs> Without a doubt, yes, the smoked beef. Fantastic. Uh, Edinburgh or Glasgow? Yep, they're both beautiful cities. You can enjoy them both. What's the main tourist attraction in Scotland? Uh, it used to be the Scotty McClue Nightline, but that's not on at the moment. So I would imagine it would be things like Bannockburn, Culloden, the Wallace Monument, Edinburgh Castle, uh, Glasgow George Square. Uh, what have we got here? Now, uh, we've got a bit of nonsense here. Fantastic. We love all this. Beautiful. There we go. Uh, William Wallace Monument's awesome, wouldn't you say? When do you think it was built, Isaac? Do you think it's maybe 500 years old, 1,000 years old? You tell me. <laughs> now then, views on an independent Scotland coming out of the global lockdown, I think. Take your time. Take your time. Steady as she goes. We speak perfect English. Scouse people, we do. Yeah, I love the bones, are you? I've been to Edinburgh Castle, Aaron. It's a cracker. Favourite place in England? Oh, I think she Sheffield's up there. Manchester's up there. Liverpool is up there. Leeds is up there. Newcastle. Carlisle. Carlisle. And um, where else can I think of that's just outstanding? Preston in Lancashire, uh, Blackburn, there we are, these one, Blackpool, wonderful places, London, very popular, we like London, yes, indeed, uh, I think 500 years ago, if I'm correct, but when I was there, they said, a couple of people died making it, can I tell you, I think you'll find, it was something like the 1880s or the 1890s, the Wallace Monument. It's really quite recent. Scotty, give us Killy Cranky on the squeeze box. I don't have the squeeze box right out, but I might be able to give you something on the piano. There we are. Now, what have we got here? Do you like the Land Rover TD5, the five-cylinder? Very interesting. Yes, indeed. Although I must confess, I think that uh, cylinders tend to be in threes. So a three-cylinder, a six-cylinder, a 12-cylinder, that sort of idea. Or fours, you can have a four and an eight and a 12. For me, I must say the 12 is an outstanding thing. What you, can you play on the piano? What would you like on the piano? There we are, we can give it to you now. This is good content, says Prax. Prax, we like to think that we are right up there with the best of them. It's just good quality, intelligent banter. You know, there's no side to us, and we chat throughout the world. Kermit the Frog says Rangers, and he's put three Union flags, which may well disappear after independence. And, of course, if he's put Rangers, I think we should say Celtic as well. I love to visit the great Gothic cathedrals in France. Well, of course, Sean, Notre Dame has uh, had the fire, but Amiens, yes, do you know Amiens? Have you visited Amiens? What other great cathedrals have you visited? There we are. Uh, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Aaron. A man, you man. Cylinders come in twos, I believe. Aaron, I, I have to say... I think you've got that right. Does anyone remember the list of two cylinders? Cylinders can come in ones if you want what we call in the trade a thumper. Yes, wonderful stuff. There we are. I love the forest walks. You can't beat the woods. In Sheffield, the woods are outstanding. Can you play rolls? Can hardly. Rolls doing the hill. Can hardly get back up. Glad we caught you. would love to talk to you about your cars. Extended warranty. Austin, no problem at all. Absolutely, mate. Uh, did you see they nearly have Notre Dame rebuilt? Yes, indeed. Notre Dame, of course, is just Our Lady. 
in French. Isn't it? Amazing Grace and the piano. Oh, we could look at that for you, yes. How are you doing, matey? Dinky do. Fantastic. Two seconds. Woo. <clears throat> I might give you a wee hymn on the piano. Yes, I'll have a think about that. Uh, so, uh, Dom, we'll just let you go if you don't mind. Very, very important. Excellent. There's Dom gone, guys. He's off -ski. Jesus Christ is the way ahead. This guy's like an old Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace is timeless. Uh, sorry, got to go now, Scotty. Have a nice rest of your day. Aaron, take great care of your dear self, and dink you do. Nearer, my God, to thee in the piano. Yes, indeed. Repent and turn to Jesus. Well, you would only repent if you're a sinner. You see, I've never actually sinned, so we don't have a problem there. But uh, we can actually repent. Never, ever, ever a problem, I say. Scotty, I can't believe I've found you. Fantastic. Dinky do, Mark. I am here and uh, we'll let you go, of course, because you'll be dashing off. Mark's away doing the swanee. Helen from Les Mahago. Now that's its Sunday name. We know it as the Gow. So Helen's in the Gow. Hello from uh, Bogdan in Slovakia. There we are. Fantastic. I want to see Chartres. Cathedral. Have I said that properly? It has amazing rose windows. Oh, Sean. Amiens looks very impressive, I have to say. Uh, so what have we got here? There's our old friend Dom, and he's just uh, going to the swanee. Eh? Fantastic. That's the one for Dom. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Hi. Didn't you do everybody lol? says Helen. Do you like that one, Helen, you see? Not many people would have known that, but McClure is more than just an athlete. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. Scotty, let's get the piano going. All right, you want a tune on the piano? I'll see what I can do for you. Oh, my goodness me. You don't ask for much, do you, you guys? Right, what do we got here? That's that one. Now, I'll see what's happening here. Fantastic. Oh, this is not easy, you know. <laughs> this is not easy. Right. I think we've got that okay. Two seconds. See if I can sort this here. Uh, whoa. What's happened? We seem to have a wee technical problem here. There we are. That's it. <laughs> we've sorted it technical problem all sorted we are at the piano how many performers do you know that could get you to the piano as quickly as that eh come on let's have it straight fantastic right we'll see what we've got on the piano for you um now uh,
like that. Did you like that? A wee bit of style for you? Yes, indeed, on the old Joanna. That's class, Scotty. Thank you, Eden. I'm very, very glad you enjoyed it. Can you shout out to my friend Cal? Fantastic. Do you have bagpipes, Scotty? No, but my father was a great bagpiper. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There we are. Well, I can't think of any sinning I've done. So there we are. But that's what it's about. And uh, now, who have we got here? You're right. Amiong looks beautiful. So does Reims. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Now, what we got there? Brett, I think you're needing to grow up a wee bit. Yes, yes. And get your head out of the gutter. Is Nessie related to a Sasnach? No, 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 Nessie's Nessie. You mustn't do that. Read the Bible before Jesus comes. I think everybody has, don't they? Fantastic. Do follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We are exceptionally busy tonight, but we can always squeeze in a small one, as the missus never tires of telling me. Hi from Port Glasgow, dinky do. Billy, lovely to have you with us from the port. Billy, did you check out Scotty McClure's videos on the port? You know, we've got them down there at the Comet, and you'll see them if you scroll through the lives. Guys, everybody get following Scotty McClure. Can you put your hand on your heart and say you followed Scotty McClure live on TikTok? Do tell me. Excuse me. Woo! Honestly, the heat in here. Nearly into a grease spot. Look at the colour of my face. Fantastic. I think somebody's turned the heat up for a laugh. Uh, that's what we like. Hi to Sandy. I can indeed the Al. Hello, Sandy. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Hello. I want to be you when I grow up, says Jesse. Ah, good for you, Jesse. The comet's been replaced by plastic copy. That breaks my heart. I heard that there was a bit of rot in the heart. But the apprentices at Lithgow's built that in 1962. How long ago is that? So we're talking 62. We're talking coming up for 60 years. So the apprentices would be about 80 now. Hello to a legend. How are you doing, Sir Scotty Jack? Dinky do, Jack. Hey, handsome dinky do. Scotty, what's your favorite color? I quite like the red, the blue. Uh, the green, the brown, the gold, that sort of idea. But uh, that's the kind of idea. Hello, legend, how are you doing? We thank you very much. How are you, says young Hickster? Uh, now, Ollie, you should know you never, ever, ever troll Scotty McClure. First rule of the internet. If you are connected to the internet, you never, ever, 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 ever troll Scotty McClure. Okay, have we got that? There we are. Same with you, user. You're about to go the bin because you couldn't grow up. You're used to going on to other people's lives and putting a wee bit of caca, but there we are. Now, that's it. Gustav, come on, calm down. Good evening, Squire. Good evening. Look who it, isn't he? The 11th commandment, Andrew. Andrew, you're such a top man. You see, the thing about you, Andrew, is you get it. You absolutely get it. And the thing about the trolls is that they didn't get it. They absolutely didn't get it. And that's the trolls for you, you know what I mean? What's your greatest fear? running out of bramble jelly or getting pregnant and not knowing who the mother is. You know, that would be my worry. Have a nice day. What sports do you watch, Scotty? I don't really do a lot of the sports, you know. Um, I'm very often out training myself. How often are you live? Joe, we go live like I was live first thing this morning. I was live at this time last night. Uh, I think we did 9 till 10 last night. Tonight we've done just 8 till 9, Friday night, you see. And uh, and we pop up sometimes during the days. 
but there's a lot of demand for McClue to do a lot more lives. And I'll have to have a think about that, you know. I need to stop shouting. I need to learn to stop shouting. <laughs> Bit of a tall order. Struggling to find it recently. Wow, Emma, you get your notifications. Let me know when Scotty McClue is live. Can you get a word in edgeways with this guy? Alice, you can come and talk till the cows come home and I will listen. You can get your whole life in edgeways. What's your favourite drink order at the pub? Uh, two lemonade, two tonic waters, uh, a couple of colas and a soda water. Uh, an orange and soda, an orange and soda pint, please. There we are. Do you have bagpipes, Scotty? I don't know, but Stair, I had relatives who were famous bagpipe makers. My grandfather and my father were outstanding pipers. Amazing. I meant struggling to find bramble jelly. Oh, I see. Have you ever thought about preaching? Um, a long, long time ago, I was approached by a church would I consider training uh, as a preacher, but no, I didn't take it any further. Scotty, I used to listen to you when I was a teenager. I loved your show. I'm from Glasgow. Heather, how lovely to have you with us. Do you know it's 27 years next year, 26 years this year since Scotty came to Glasgow? Now, there we are. What have we got here? Big bills. I don't think, I think you're on the wrong game, Squire. We'll send you Doon the Swanee. Big bills away, Doon the Swanee. Yes, indeed. Um, now, what have we got here? Don't know what big bills at. Actually, anyways, away, it doesn't matter. Can I get a top of cup of tea, please, you can. Evening, Mr. McLean. Maria Knight, you are such a beautiful, generous lady. Maria has done nothing but give Scotty McClue beautiful TikTok. She would give away her heart. Hello, Kamaraha. Oh, says Poopy. Hello, Poopy. Hakima. Maha. There we are. Uh, Maria's just sent me one air dancer. Isn't that gorgeous? Scotty, you remind me, I'm from Aberdeen, foot like for Aberdeen, foo is your doos, the next can. But, uh, oh, I, that's the way it, you know. You've just got to get on with it. No, is it, uh, see the tatties we had the night for the chips. Was that your in growing? Fantastic. Thank you, Maria, for a beautiful necklace. What's the subject this evening? The subject is training trolls to never, ever, 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 ever troll Scotty McClue. That's what we're talking about tonight on the live. Scotty boy, what's up, says Christian? There's a man for the chips. Oh, yes. Hello, if you're done, on two of the British Army. We salute you, sir. Absolutely. Or would you prefer one of these? Not a problem either way. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Longest way up, shortest way down. That's the best way to do it, dinky do. Now then, what have we got here? Uh, graffiti. You must not assume everyone has your lifestyle. There we are. Graffiti has a flatulence problem, and he can't get away from it. Something you just can't get away from. Sometimes you can't get away with. I would say. Irish or English, we love them both, Hanar. Yes, the Scots are world-wide people. Yes, fantastic. We are indigenous to the world. That's what Scotland's all about. Dinky-doo, Scotty. Dinky-doo to you. Fantastic. I like your accent, says Carl. Thank you, Carl. You are very, very kind. Very, very good to have you with us. Now, I'm just looking at the time. Hello. Hello, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us. And Catherine has just joined us. I'm in Peebles on holiday. Is that near you? Uh, not too far away. I would say right now I'm sitting probably about 
maybe about 60 miles from people, something like that. Thank you for the perfume, Maria. Are you on a radio station anymore, says Blue? Uh, not since last year, Blue. But this is my 29th year of talk radio. Scotty, do you support independence? I do economically. I'm not uh, a political animal. Long live the union. Forget that, Sebastian. The second Brexit happened, the, the, the clock was ticking for the United Kingdom. Brexit's the worst act of self-harm we've ever done. You're saying no to Indiref too? Why would you do that, Sebastian? You like giving away your money. Right, that's what it's all about, I say. Yes, indeed. If we can keep our own money, that's what Scotland needs to do. And uh, we have to say to Westminster, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Very, very important. How on earth are you capable of talking so constantly? Really, man, it's impressive. Scenic music, what a lovely thing to say. Normally, everybody goes, oh, for goodness sake, you're still talking. Thank you, dear boy. Thank you. The union will stay together. I doubt it. The union has never, ever, ever had a case for its existence. The union was gained through jiggery pokery. Yes, Queen Anne was a bit of a rascal. She got parachuted in herself. Long live our great union. We don't feed Westminster. Only 500,000 people here pay income tax. Doesn't matter, Sebastian. We give Westminster £75 billion a year. Okay, news flash. Fantastic. Brexit's a waste of England's money. If there was a united Ireland, England's economy would be better. Uh, I don't know, Stair, that that is the truth. Because remember, the South would probably be crippled by picking up the tab for the North. Yes, have you got that? You see, so you've got to remember, if you look at Ireland as we know it, and I'm talking about the South, the Republic. It's never really been properly industrialized. So it's missed out on 150,000, sorry, 150 years of industrialization. But that's a double-edged sword. So it hasn't had the huge capital made by industry, but it has had money made by agriculture. And it also is in beautiful condition. So the Republic of Ireland, in terms of um, the actual condition of all the organic matter, you don't have the same brownfield sites. Your agriculture is in good nick, etc., etc. God save the Queen. We get more from Westminster than we make in tax revenue. Fact. Sebastian, yes, that's actually 100% untrue. So there's no fact there at all. That's what you've had your tiny little head stuffed with. So come on, listen to Scotty McClure, and I'll give you fact. <laughs> all right. Skeks, it means a hard border, no currency, no trade deals, isolationist, narrow nationalism. Sebastian, again, 100%. Whopper! I'm going to call you, not Sebastian, but Pinocchio, Pinocchio, because, skips it, no reason for a hard border, no currency, we can either use sterling, the pound Scots, the euro, you know, the smackaroonie, doesn't matter. No trade deals? Are you absolutely kidding? Are you saying nobody wants water? Nobody wants whiskey? Nobody wants power? Nobody wants oil? And nobody wants gas? Nobody wants food? Is this what you're telling us? You know, uh, nobody wants, yep, the whole lot. That's because the Brits came over and ruined our cultural country. Stare, you're not listening to me. The Brits haven't even touched the Republic, right? Not even touched it. No industrialization to speak of. Had the Brits, as you call them, the people, the English people, that occupy the bottom half of the landmass of Britain, 
had they come over and industrialized you, you would have known all about it. What I'm saying is you're an excellent Nick. You can't point the finger at all at that. So there you are. And also, would it have helped if Michael had asked Trevelyan if he could have enough corn to feed the wee one? Do you see what I'm saying? Play with the heat stare here and watch my clue. This is big talk on here, guys. Skeks it would have eight times the worst effect of the Scottish economy based on the LSE study. Sebastian, you're giving me complete nonsense here. I think you must be misreading the study. Sebastian is a tumpshe, says Blume. Now the facts are facts. 3,000 more capita is a genuine fact. No, no, Sebastian, you look at these figures, right? And there's also a figure that says unknown amount. How many accountants would accept an unknown amount in a set of books? Come on. And remember that all the trade figures are passed off as UK figures when they're Scotland's. Capiche? Okay, so get thinking, Sebastian. I'm glad you have joined us, though, because you will get your education. LMAO says you have. Scotland should walk away from the UK and join the EU. Senec, I think that will happen. My only stipulation is that we must keep the Queen as our head of state. Otherwise, no independence, not happening. Have we got that? Join Ireland. Yes, would Ireland want the Queen as head of state? It's a thought. Isle of Man's not in the UK, nor is London City. No, but they are actually uh, crown protectorates, are they not? There we are. Uh, point of view, you don't know what they are talking about. <laughs> An independent Scotland and the EU would mean a hard border with England. Fact, Sebastian, no requirement for a hard border. Fact. Any hard border would be coming from Westminster, right? There's no hard border between North and South Ireland. Go and see for yourself. There we are. And there probably is nowadays, <laughs> but there certainly didn't used to be. Now, woo! Boris was wanting one under the Irish Sea. We can't hear you. Absolutely. Jesus loves you. Have a nice day. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. It's been an absolute blast and a joy being with you. Take great care of yourselves. There we are. And we will get catching up soon. What do you think of the Boer War? Well, I won't bore you with that tonight. That's it, folks. What a fabulous, fabulous live. Bob on. Thank you for my red rose. There we are. That's why the bottles vote Tory. Are you kidding me? Right, sober up. That's it, guys. Have a lovely, lovely break. Maria Knight, thank you for your excellent generosity and for your lovely, lovely gifts. There we are. So I'll say to you in Gaelic, Eich Iva Maha, Eich Ivalich. God loves us all. He doesn't just love me. He loves everybody. There's a Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of Vita Zane. Au revoir and a cheery. Oh, good night. God bless my darlings. Try and catch us tomorrow, Saturday. We may even be around early in the morning. We may be around early in the morning on Sunday and look forward to seeing you all then. Until then, good night. God bless. Dinky-doo and ta-ra-las.